Morning everybody, warm welcome. Can you give me the thumbs up if you can see me and a wee heart shape if you can see me, okay? That would be really appreciated, thank you. Can everybody hear me? A wee thumbs up if you can on the comments, thanks. And a wee heart shape, thank you. And a heart shape if you can see me okay. If I go down on the floor, as long as you can see me and hear me, that is the main thing. So a very warm welcome. Thank you, ladies and gents. A very warm welcome to what is now classed as the summer season. Um, don't know where it's went to, but anyway, quite an energetic flow this morning. So yeah, we'll get nice and warm um, with this particular um, sequence that I've put together for today. So good morning, Helen. Yeah, very wet and miserable. Um, but apparently it's supposed to get better and Thursday's actually going to be amazing. So they say, so they say. So we'll just have to wait and see. So please, not sure whether it's your first or your 101st time at yoga, but please just be very, very mindful of your body. If it doesn't feel right for you, morning Victoria, um, if it doesn't feel right for you, please, come out of that posture and just go um, whichever way is best for you to get the same result. I'll give you options, levels one, two and three, okay, and a lot of the postures. So that gives you the opportunity to um, do an easier version um, that's suitable for you. So basically one breath, one move. Um, we do prefer you to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose, however, some people are congested, so therefore it may well be in through your nose and out through your mouth. But at the same time, please just keep breathing. That's all I can ask for you to do. Morning, Muriel. Good morning, Terry. Um, so yeah, that's all I can ask you to do is, is keep breathing. Don't want anybody turning blue. When it comes to the balance, you may be a bit wobbly. Um, so if you want to use the back of the sofa, or even a dining room chair, or even a small child that you can hold on to, and um, that would be fine as well. Okay, so let's just get started. So let's just do um, some pranayama um, to start off with, which is breath work, and that helps to calm you down and bring you into the moment. So let's just come hip width, feet hip width apart. So how do we do that so to get the right, because a lot of people think the hips are out here, trust me, they're not ladies and gents. So if the easiest way to do it is bring your two feet together and then take your heels out so they're touching each other and then bring your feet straight and that effectively is your hip width apart which equates to two fists, okay? So from here, we work from the feet up. So your best foundation is working from your feet upwards. So toes are facing forward, okay? If you bring the arch of your feet up, just pull them up, which allows then your knees to come up into your thighs, so to speak, because your legs are active. Okay, but your knees are not locked. The last thing you want to do is lock your knees out. So if you lock your knees out to start with, let's do it. Lock those knees. You feel the tightness there. And then we just put in a wee minuscule bend. Okay, so your knees are coming up into your thighs. Your navel is coming into your spine. Your tailbone is coming down. So the easiest way to do that is, let's take the hands behind and I'm just holding on to my forearms here and I'm pressing them into my back. Okay, so your feet are still hip width apart. Okay, I'm just going to the side to show you. And you feel as if you're taking the small part of your back into the back of your arms. And you feel your tummy and everything engaged in there. So you need to keep your tummy engaged the whole way through as well. Okay. So let's bring those hands down to the side, roll the shoulders up and take them back. Remember those shoulders are not part of your ears, so they're not even your earrings, you're keeping them away, okay? And then from here, shoulder blades are coming together, the crown of your head is coming up towards the sky, which means your chin, it's not stuck out, it's not stuck in, it's just nice and level. Okay, so from here, let's take a nice big inhale through that nose, and out through the mouth if you need to, or out through your nose. And again, now I know it's only half nine in the morning, but if 
keep the kids, dealing with homeschooling and all the rest of it, or even working from home, it can be quite challenging. And I just release, just keeping those shoulders relaxed. And again, your tummy's coming up like a big balloon when you breathe in. Close your eyes, inhale. And exhale. For those of you who wish to try Ujjayi breathing, you can, which is closing off the back of the throat, taking the tongue to the top of the mouth. It's as if you're steaming up a mirror but keeping your mouth closed. So you're getting that side. So you should hear the it's like a bit like Darth Vader. Do a few more. And one more. So let's take those arms up towards the sky. Clasping those hands. Okay. Taking the hands back down again. And inhale again, up we come, nice big inhale. Inhale to the sky, exhale, coming back down. And again, nice big inhale. And exhale. Morning Jim, hope you're well. Nice big inhale. And exhale. And one more, nice big inhale. So let's take the right ear down onto the right shoulder and back into centre and let's inhale over to the other side, keeping the shoulders down and exhale and inhale, just warming up that neck and exhale and inhale and back to centre. So from here just drop the chin onto the chest and we're taking right chin over to the right shoulder, back into centre, exhaling, inhale over to the right left shoulder and back down, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, back to centre, head coming up towards the sky. Let's take a nice big inhale, clasping those hands, I'm going over to my right hand side, so my hips are going out to the left, stretching up those sides, back into centre, and over we go to the other side. Nice big inhale, and the other side. Back into centre, dropping those hands down. Okay, let's put the hands on the hips. We'll just warm up those hips in a nice wee figure of eight. So I don't know if any other lady or Jen for that matter, if your hair is almost at the pigtail level, or if it's been in short for so long. And the other way. Nice big figure of eight. Lovely. Okay, so let's now just take the right leg up and just do a wee figure of eight with the knee coming towards the screen. Lovely. And then just rotate the ankle off one way. And the other. Placing that foot on the floor, lifting the other leg up, and do a nice wee figure of eight. Okay, so it's the last week of the school for the kids as well, so no more homework after this week. So don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's just they've obviously been off school for quite a number of months, and they've had something to occupy themselves with. So. Let's see how this goes. It'd be great to could give them something to do during the summer holidays. And exhale. Okay, so I'm going to go to the front of the mat. Okay, and I'm going to um, forward fold. So I'm taking my arms up towards the sky and then inhaling and coming forward, taking your fingertips down onto the floor and then coming up onto your fingertips, hands back down onto the floor. And then from here, just going to come up nice and slow, shoulders away, nice big inhale. This is all part of the sun salutation that we're going to be doing today. So again, it's just 
get me warmed up. Inhale, hands coming back down, and then let's just come back up. Taking the arms back up to the sky, coming one more, and forward fold. Plant your fingertips, hands coming down, and then roll up slowly. Nice big inhale. I'm going to take my right hand behind and I'm twisting, warming up that torso. You can hold it here and then bring your right arm back up and then take the left arm back, warming up the other side, taking the shoulders away from the ears. Bring the hand back up again, right hand coming back. Nice big inhale coming down. Okay, hands coming down onto the floor, and then from here we're going to come up, taking the hands on to the thighs, and we're going to do our standing cat cow. So from here we're looking up, eyes coming, keeping that navel in, looking straight ahead, and then exhaling, rounding that spine up towards the sky, and then let's inhale. Dipping that spine down, tailbone up towards the sky, changing, exhaling, chin coming into chest, and let's do one more. And again. So from here, nice big inhale, hands coming down onto the floor. Okay, and then from here, we're going to take one hand, your right hand to your left elbow. Left hand to right elbow, and then a nice wee dangle. Just stretch it out. And then from here we can go from side to side. And then dropping the hands down onto the floor. I'm going to straighten my left leg and bend my right. And then alternate. Just warming up those legs again. We're still warming up the legs rather. Okay, so from here I'll keep my right hand onto the floor and I'm going to take my, going to bend my right knee and I'm going to take my left arm up towards the sky and then from here I'm taking my left hand and I'm putting it into a bind so I'm just taking it behind me. Okay, tucking it in just at my hips. And then release, bring it back up, bring the hand down onto the floor, bend the right knee, straighten the right, and do the same on the other side. Just lifting up and looking over that back shoulder. And then I'm dropping the arm down, taking it behind my waist, just tucking it in and up my thigh and my hip. Just at the crease. And then lift your hand back up bringing it back down onto the floor and then from here we're just going to come up into forward fold nice big inhale going to exhale coming forward taking the right leg back followed by the left dropping the knees down onto the floor and let's go into child's pose so child's pose, taking the knees to each side of your mat. If you don't have a mat in front of you or below you rather, just take your knees approximately two feet apart. And then we're just going to bring your arms forward, taking your bottom down onto the tops of your heels. If you've got a block, if you can't manage to get your head down, your forehead down onto the floor, just take a block or even a cushion. You know, and just put your forehead onto that, it just aligns your spine. Okay, so we're looking to stretch out the spine here. Okay, lovely. And then from here, we're going to come up and do the wave. So we're coming into all fours. Okay, and then from here, the arms are coming forward just slightly. We're dropping the forehead, the forearms down onto the floor, and we're coming down, chin in your chest. You're coming up as if you're coming into a cobra. 
and then you're rounding up that spine, coming back down as if you're going into child's pose. So we inhale coming forward, chin and chest coming along, bringing the shoulders up, keeping them away from the ears, rounding that spine, exhaling as we come back. Okay, and again, inhale, coming along, chin and chest on the floor, rising up, and then from here, rounding the spine, coming down, we'll do one more, and then we come along, up we come, and then from here, round, and then we come back down. Okay, so from here we're coming down onto the floor, we're going to come into Cobra, and there's three there, three levels of Cobra. So you've got the gentle version, whereby your elbows are just underneath your shoulders. So again, from the feet upwards. So your front of your feet are into the floor, toenails on the mat. Your legs are engaged, okay? We're gonna be working on your back here. So we're just coming up, just slightly. So your navel's on the floor, as is your pubic bone. Okay, and you're just feeling a slight stretch in your back. So that's a nice gentle one. So let's come back down. Okay. If you want to go stronger, you can. So you want to bring your hands down and you're just going to take your hands to the rib cage. And again, your elbows are in towards your rib cage as well. They're not out here, they're in here. And then we just come up. So you're up a bit more. So your navel is now coming off the floor, but your legs are still engaged. Okay, and that's your medium version. And then come down. Okay. And if you want to go stronger, and again, this is all in your sun salutation. If you want to go stronger, you just come back up, let's inhale. Okay. Your arms are not locked out, but they're high up. Okay, shoulders are away from your ears, we don't want them up here. We want them away and looking straight ahead. And that's your three versions of your three levels of Cobra. So that's your strong version, your medium version, and your baby version. Whichever one you prefer. Okay, so let's come back down. And then from here, let's go on to all fours, coming into Tiger which is quite a nice one for the spinal balance. So I'm going to take my right arm out and my left leg. We don't want the left leg up here, we just want it nice and long. Toes coming down onto the floor. So just make sure that your wrist is underneath your shoulder. And if you want to, you can bend your back knee and then take your hand round and just hold on to that foot help strengthen your legs up and also kind of eases off your quads. And then let's release. Bring the hands back down or the hands and the legs back down onto the floor. So now my left arm and left legs can out. Again, toes pointing onto the floor. Nice spinal balance here. And then bend the back knee only if you want to bring over towards your left hip. Holding on your foot and again nice strong legs here and also stretching out the quads and then just let's release bring the hands back and the knee down onto the floor let's go into a child's pose lovely just for a few breaths here and then from here come back up into all fours and let's go into our down dog for the first one, which again is part of your sun salutation. So we're gonna turn the toes under. So you're looking at your hands being just a bit shoulder width apart, your feet hip width apart. You're looking at your thumb and your index finger being your suction point here. So they're gonna be holding you in place, okay? Your fingers are coming forward, okay? Your palms of your hands, you know, are there as well to support you. Although they're in a wee cup, Okay, so your fingers are coming straight ahead. So from here, we don't want you to come out on your sides of your hands. 
Okay, let's bring your hands in so that you're suctioning onto the thumb and the index finger. Okay, so from here, turn the toes under and let's come up into a nice down dog. You can bend your knees. The aim here is to have a nice long straight spine. Bring the tops of the arms in and round them. You feel your shoulder blades parting. Let's just walk this dog. Okay, so you don't have to have your heel coming right down to the floor. Everybody's flexibility is different. Lovely. And then let's just hold the breath here. For a couple of seconds. In through the nose and out through the nose if you can. And then let's just walk to the top of the mat. And then from here. Nice big inhale. And exhale. Okay, lovely. Okay, we'll coming up. Okay, okay. Right, so nice big inhale. And exhale, coming forward, fold. Coming onto your fingertips. Or your hands can, your hands coming down. So let's take the right leg back, then the left leg back, and we're in plank. And again, you've got options. We can go for full plank, or you can drop your knees to the floor. Your choice. Okay. So let's go from here if we're down here just now. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down into Cobra. So we're coming down into Cobra. I'm just coming up your choice how far you want to come up. Okay. Or if you're in full plank, you come down in one, turn the toes under, come into an up dog. So your choice. Turn the toes under. Come into down dog. Let's have a few breaths here. And let's just walk, step or jump to the top of the mat. And then from here, we're coming up. Nice big inhale. So that sun salutation kind of broken down a little bit there for you to make it easier as we're getting into uh, the full session. So now we'll do a full sun salutation. Inhale, exhale coming forward, keeping the navel into the spine, hands onto the floor, coming onto the fingertips, hands coming back down, right leg back, then the left. Now again, you've got the option here of which plank you wish to do. So you can drop your knees, coming into cobra, and then coming up into down dog, whatever version. Three breaths here. And then from here, we're just gonna walk to the top of the mat. You can step or you can jump. We'll do three full rounds, three on each side. And release. Okay, so again, nice big inhale. Exhale, coming forward. Forward fold, hands on the floor. Coming up onto the fingertips, hands back down, take your left leg back, followed by your right. I'll do a full one this time. Let's come in down in one, turn the toes under, coming up into up dog. If you're in up dog, everything is off the floor. The only thing that's on the floor is your hands on the front of your feet. And then from here, into down dog. Lovely. And then from here, let's walk, step or jump to the top of the mat. Now, if you're struggling to get your foot to the front of the mat, take your foot that's coming out to the front, to the side, take hold of the ankle, bring it forward, just help it through, and then bring your back leg forward, making your way up. There's always ways to help you. And release. Okay, and again, nice big inhale. And exhale, coming forward. Hands onto the floor, onto your fingertips, hands coming down, left leg back, then your right. I'll come down onto my knees this time. And then we're coming up into up dog. Turn the toes under, then to down dog. If you want to jump to the top of the mat, what you do is bend your knees. And then come through. Make sure you're bending your knees when you, you get to the top. 
nice big inhale and then just make sure you come to the front of the mat and exhale inhale again inhale and exhale second time then bring your left side onto your fingertips hands coming down to so the left leg back and right leg back okay so from here i'll drop my knees taking the toenails onto the mat coming forward make sure the shoulders are away from the ears into a down dog and again if you want to jump to the top of the mat just bend your knees come forward bend your knees and then just make your way up nice big inhale and exhale last full round nice inhale exhale coming forward hands onto the floor onto your fingertips back down let's take the right leg back everybody let's try a full one if you can okay coming down the only thing on the floor now in your up dog is your hands and your front of your toes the front of your feet and then from here into down dog let's walk step and even jump to the top of the mat making your way to forward fold and coming back down again onto your fingertips last time your left leg back then the right leg back we'll do a full one again coming down up you come into a down dog lovely and then again walk step or jump to the top of the mat and then just up you come okay lovely a nice summer one really good for warming up the body and it's actually really good for flushing the system out um, as well so let's have a nice big inhale coming forward coming up to the fingertips taking the hands down and then from here right leg forward coming into a nice high lunge okay superb Arms coming up towards the sky. Super. Let's take the right hand behind and just twist, keeping the front knee bent. Bring that arm forward and we'll just go straight into a warrior two. So warrior two, shoulders and hips the same way. Arms coming out towards the sky, the walls or the, the window, whatever you are. Knee is bent, knees get out towards the pinky toe, back leg is nice and long. Okay. And then from here, we don't want you here, we don't want you there, we want you right down the middle. So your tummy's in, your tailbone's down. Okay. So we're going to go into reverse warrior, so we're turning that palm up towards the sky, lifting the hand up, inhaling, taking the hand down the back of the back thigh, feel the strength in that back leg. Yeah, it's as if you're pushing the mat away from you with those feet. Okay, make sure you're in the right alignment, four to five feet apart. Superb. So here we come. And then we come forward, taking the front arrow onto the forearm, onto the front thigh, another side bend. Superb. And then back in. To warrior two into peaceful warrior or sorry reversal warrior up we come and then coming forward excellent taking the hand over the top and one more warrior two reverse warrior palm towards the sky Feeling that stretch coming right up the side here. We're opening up those intercostal muscles. And then coming back down. Superb. And then from here we're going to triangle. So we're looking to straighten the front leg. So we're coming forward. Straighten the front leg, come forward. Taking the back of the hand to the inside of the calf. Taking your arm up nice and high. We change here, 
I'm going to take this hand and take it round and tuck it in just at your waist, opening that shoulder up. Okay, looking round. So my eyes are looking onto my left shoulder. Superb. And then up we come. Coming back into the centre. Going to turn round. And then high lunge again. Okay, so high lunge here. I'm looking out my window. Not that it's pleasant this morning. Can't see a thing. Okay, it's just so misty at the hills. At both the hills and the water. Okay, I'm going to take the left hand behind. And we're going to twist round. Keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Superb. Bring the left hand back round again. Taking the right hand back, we're going into warrior two. So again, hips and shoulders facing the camera, shoulders away from the ears. Looking at a bend in the front knee, but your knees coming out to your pinky toe, okay? Tummies in, tailbones down. Shoulders, please keep them away. They're not earrings, okay? Looking right down at that long finger. Let's go into reverse warriors. So my palm looking up towards the sky. Inhale, taking the hand right down the back of the back leg. Now again, you feel that strength coming in and you're pushing away with both feet. And then from here, we're coming forward, forearm arm on, taking the arm over the head. And apologies if everybody feels I repeat myself when I'm doing certain poses. But obviously, I don't know if it's your first or second time. I had a hundred and first time in a class, so I still need to do guidance. And then come back into warrior two, coming over into reverse warrior. And then we come forward again. Over we go. And back up. Let's have our time, I believe. Sometimes I forget the count. Over we go. Okay. And then we come back up. So we're back into warrior two. So we're going to go into triangle. So the front leg begins to straighten. So your back hip is coming up towards your back wall. And then you're gliding forward, taking the back of the hand forward, taking it down to the inside of the calf. So your shoulders are stacked here. So how do we do that? So the bottom shoulder's coming forward. Top one's going back, and that should allow you to stack your shoulders on top of each other. From here, the top hand is coming round, and it's just tucking in at the side of your waist, side of your hips, and you're looking over the back shoulder. Excellent. Super. And then bring that hand back up, and bring yourself back into warrior two. Let's face the screen. <clears throat> Bring those hands up towards the sky, taking the palms towards the ceiling, bending those knees, toes are out at 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock, let's inhale and let's exhale coming over, superb, and back into centre, and exhale, and back into centre, keeping the shoulders, sorry, the arms at the ears, over you go, and back into centre, and over we go. I'm at least surprised today for the abs too, I just thought I'd change things around a wee bit, it is more energetic, and you'll love me for it, I'm sure you will. Over we go, and then from here, windmill your arms out, Nice big inhale, exhale coming forward, hands coming down onto the floor, coming up to fingertips, and that's it, okay. So from here, we can back into a plank, okay, we can into either your high or low, so we'll get into chaturanga, and then coming up, into down dog. And then from here, into down dog. And then from here, what we're going to do is put your two feet together 
I'm going over on my right toes and I'm going into side plank. So that, again, there's a couple of options here. So this is the toughest one. I'll do that one first. So you're coming into side plank. Okay, so your side plank, you can have your feet on top of each other or you can have your feet, you know, your one foot in front of the other. Okay, so your other option would be dropping the knee down, left leg's going out. So you're still getting a side plank, just not as strong. Okay, so that's level one. Level two, sorry, that would be level two. Your level one would be taken down here and just coming up slightly. Okay. I'm telling lies, guys. Sorry. Come down your forearm. That's better. So I'm down your forearm. That's level one. Okay. Level two. And level three. Then I'm off my mat. Okay. Your choice. You can, if you wish, lift that leg up in any of the versions. Okay, and then bring it down and then take your hand over. I'm just doing a nice big side stretch here. And then bring your hand back down. Okay, so from here, we're going to do the same thing. So again, you've got three levels. So my back will be towards you. So my feet are together, coming over my toes. Level highs one okay or medium one or down your forearm as long as that hips off the floor okay and then take the arm over so no matter what the level you're in it can be done You can also lift your leg, yeah, if you want to. And then come back down. And we're into all fours. Let's come into each child's pose. Opening those knees. Having them hip width apart. Just not as wide as before. And then let's come up into all fours. And we'll go back into a spinal balance, which we've done earlier on. So the right hand, right arm, and left foot's going out. Okay. So your toes are pointing onto the floor. Fingertips are coming straight across. And then from here, drop the hands down. Coming in to a down dog. We're just going to walk the dog here. And you'll find you get more flexibility because we have warmed up quite dramatically. Superb. And then from here, let's come back down into your all fours. Left arm down, we're going into spinal balance, the tiger. Excellent. Toes coming down onto the floor. And then drop the hands down and the knee. Again, a nice little child's pose here. Superb. So you should feel a lot more flexible, a lot warmer. Your bottom should be able to come down a bit more now than it did before. Forehead should be able to come down onto the mat. Excellent. And then onto all fours. Into a down dog. And then we're just going to walk to the top of the mat. Nice big inhale. Keep the shoulders down. Exhale, coming forward. Taking the right leg back and the left foot back into down dog. Bring both feet together. So I'm going to go into pigeon. So I'm going to raise my right leg up towards the sky. I'm bringing my knee down into my nose, taking it back up to the sky, keeping the navel to the spine. Knee coming down onto elbow, right elbow. 
Taking it back up. Taking it now down onto my left elbow. <clears throat> taking it back up. And then from here, taking it down to the outside of my right wrist. Left leg is now nice and long. If you want any more stretch in your left leg, just lift the knee up off the floor and push that foot away. Okay, I'll face you, that might be easier. Okay, so my right knee is on the outside of my right wrist. Okay, your foot here is coming forward. Don't pull it too much, you don't want to do any damage. Okay, from here, we can come onto your fingertips, looking straight ahead, shoulders away from the ears. Come down onto the hands. Come down onto your forearms. And for those that are available to, to do this, you can come right down. Now you're looking to have your back nice and level. This is my wonky side here. Um, so what I would do here is to level myself up. You know, and it's hard for me, you, you know, just because I know I'm out of alignment when it comes to this side. I would just put a block and a cushion underneath my thigh to level me up. Okay, so if you're not sure, don't worry about it too much. Okay, but that is how the posture should be. But I just know I'm out of alignment. I've got wonky bones in my sacrum. And then from here, bring your hands back in. And then we're just going to go onto the back of your left knee, bringing your heel in towards your bottom, taking your hand back, and just pulling that thigh, okay, your ankle, your foot, and taking your heel into your bottom, and you feel that quad stroke the top of your thigh, get a nice big stretch. Lovely. Great stuff. And then just release. Okay. So from here, turn the toes under in the back foot, lifting the knee off the floor, lifting the right leg up towards the sky, and then bringing it back down again. We're back into three-legged dog. Okay. So from here, lift the left, lift the left leg up, and we're bringing that knee into your nose, and then taking the foot back up again with the leg up, bringing it back down, knee. To left elbow, taking it back up, taking it across onto your right elbow, and then from here taking it up, and then taking it to the outside of the left wrist. Dropping the right knee down onto the floor again. If you want to straighten out that leg or strengthen that bit any more, stretch it out, lift the knee up and push that foot away. Okay, your heel should just be your groin. So your options again, onto your fingertips, hands coming down, coming onto the forearms, okay. or bring yourself out, your forehead onto the mat. I'm a lot better at this side. Okay, and you will feel that stretch in that thigh and the quad or the quad, whichever you want to call it. Nice big stretch here. Superb. Let's walk those hands back in. And then we bend the right knee. The heel's coming in towards the bottom. The right hand's going back. Just holding on and pulling that heel into the bottom. A nice big stretch there. Superb. Excellent. Hope everybody's okay. And let's release. Coming down, hands onto the floor. Turning the toes under on the right foot, taking the left leg back, up towards the sky, bringing both feet back together again. And then from here, from your down dog, let's come down onto all fours. Okay. Okay. And then from here, a nice child's pose just for a second. Coming up into all fours, turn the toes under, and let's come up to standing. We'll do your through your down dog, and then let's just walk forward, making your way up to the top. Nice big inhale, and I'm just going to face you guys. Okay, so we're going to go into some balance here. So if you do need to 
use something to hold you up, um, whether it be the sofa, dining room chair, small child, um, and even the wall, that, that's great. So we're going to get into warrior one first of all. So let's bring both feet together. Okay. So from here, we're in a nice even keel. So let's just make sure that we are standing nice and level. So again, we don't want to lock those knees out. So if you've locked them out previously, you'll know how it feels. So we just need a little kind of bend in them. Okay. So from here, you've got a little bend in the left knee and we're just going to come onto the ball of the right foot. So remember, tummy's in, tailbone's down, shoulders away from your ears. So level one, I've got my heel against my ankle. Okay. So that's that level. Stay here if you wish, it's fine. Level two is taking the sole of the foot up to the calf. Please do not put it on your knee. Or, if you can, take it up to your thigh. Okay. And again, depending sometimes on your trousers, they might be a bit slippy, they might come off. So we're keeping the shoulders away from the ears here. So what we're going to do, whatever level you're at, I would suggest not pushing into your ankle. Okay, so if you're there, just stay where you are. But if you're on your calf or your thigh, let's push the foot into the thigh or the calf and then the other way around the leg into the foot. Okay. So we're pulling up the pelvic floor, we're inhaling and as we inhale we're sucking in that waist and we're taking the arms up towards the sky and then from here we're going to cactus arms and then we're going to turn towards the knee that's bent, looking over the back shoulder if you can. I'm wobbly this morning, so please don't look at me. Just look at something that's not moving. And let's go the other way. And then back into centre. Bring the arms up. Bring the hands down. Into heart centre. Placing the right foot onto the floor. And walk those feet out just a little bit. Super. Okay. So let's do the other side. So now my right leg's my active leg. So again, we're not having um, it tight, you know, we're just having a wee minuscule bend. So I'm on the ball of my left foot, which my heel is going against my ankle. <clears throat> and then from here, hands at a prayer. Okay, again, tummy in, tailbone nice and long, shoulders away from the ears. Coming up, if you need to or you want to, onto your calf. And then from here, if you again, if only if you want to, if you manage it, taking it up to the top of your thigh, okay. So again, we're pushing in, okay, so your foot into your thigh, your thigh into your foot or your calf. If you're at your ankle, don't push it, okay. Pelvic floor, getting pulled up, inhale, pulling in that waist, lifting those arms up into the sky, shoulders still away from the ears, open those hands out into cactus arms, and turning round, and I'm looking over the shoulder, my left shoulder, just twisting from the torso. And then we're coming back into centre. And we're going round the other way. Superb. Okay, and then come forward. Hands to the sky. Coming down. Dropping the foot down. And just a nice wee walk here. Okay, so warrior three. So warrior three is a good um, one for your balance. Okay, so let's bring the feet together, coming up, and exhale coming forward. Okay, so the hands are down onto the floor, taking the right leg behind you. Okay, so there's different levels here. So this is your first level. Okay, second level is lifting the right leg behind you, toes close up, keep them down. You can take one hand off the floor, then the other, and that's your level two. Level three, bring yourself out or bring your hands in front. You'll notice you'll have a wee tiny bend. We don't want that knee locked out. Okay. And then from here, we're just going to come forward, hugging that knee. And then let's take the knee out. To the side. And then let's bring it back in. 
Drop it down. Nice big inhale. And exhale. And again, nice big inhale. Other side, coming forward. Hands coming down onto the floor. Okay, so we'll get hands on the floor. We're taking the left leg back onto the big toe. You're in level one. Taking it up, toes facing onto the floor. Okay, and then we're going to take the one hand off the floor. Stay here if you want to, you can. If you want, take both. Now just be careful, I should have said, if you're on a, yeah, I can't do a double mat because it makes it too wobbly for me. But if you're on a really thick carpet, just be careful, okay. And then from here, although in saying that, I was doing yoga on the carpet yesterday and it wasn't too bad. Although in all fairness, I didn't do any balance. Okay. Then we bring the arms forward. And take them back. And then bring the back knee through. Holding on to that back knee. Just hold it, give it a nice hug. And then let's take it out to the side. And come forward. Dropping it back down. Just walk your feet out. Okay, nice big inhale and exhale. So we'll do Garandasana, which is eagle pose. So we're going to take again my left leg's my active leg. I'm going to take my right foot over and my pinky toes are coming together. Now if that's enough for you, that, that's fine. Okay, so just stay here just now. Let's take the arms out and I'm going to give myself a nice big hug. So I'm taking my left arm in top. So whatever leg you've got in front of you, the opposite arm goes in top. Okay, so from here, you know, if you take away the hug, just bring your arms out and then bring your arms round. So I've got my arms like so. Palms coming towards the skin, each other. If you can't manage that, just go to the back of your hands. Okay, so from here, what am I doing with these legs? I'm going to either stay here or I'm going to take that foot to the left side of my calf or take it round just as far as you can go. From here I'm going to sit down into a seated position and I'm taking those arms up towards the sky. Back's nice and long. You're getting a huge big shoulder stretch here guys. It's a really good one for your shoulders. Can be done standing and seated. And then we bring yourself back down. Can be done anywhere as well. So once you're back at work and you're feeling a wee bit stressed or anything, just take yourself into a loop and just give yourself a hug and then come round. So from here, right leg's now active, taking the left pinky toes and the right pinky toes together. Okay, I'm going to give myself another nice big hug. So I'm taking my right arm and top, giving myself that hug, taking the hands away from the back. And then I'm coming up, taking the palms and the hands together. Okay, and then from here, I'm taking this left leg and I'm wrapping it around the right. Stay pinky to pinky if you wish, not a problem. Okay, and then from here, come into seated position, bringing the right the arms up towards the sky. As I say, it can be done anywhere. You've got a really good stretch if you do it against a wall. If you do it against a wall, just make sure your spine um, and your shoulders are still against the wall. Okay, wonderful. And then release. Coming down. Nice big inhale. And exhale. And again, nice big inhale. And exhale. Now from here, we're going into forward fold. And we're coming down into all fours. So, we're going to do some abs now. Yes, we are. Okay, so we're in a forward fold and now in all fours. So we're going to go to into back into tiger. So I'm taking my right arm out. Okay, but this time I'm slightly changing it. So I'm working on the obliques. I'm taking my right elbow to my left knee. Taking it away. Okay, so my toes are facing onto the floor. And I'll do that a few times. Lovely. 
And two more. And again, last one. And then drop the hand down onto the floor. So now we're going to do the same on the other side. So please make sure your tummy's nice and tight. Okay, taking the left arm and the right. Left arm, right leg. Okay, so elbow to knee. And take it away. Inhale. And exhale. And again. Superb. Lovely. And two more, I think. Excellent. One more to go. And hands back down. So come up into a down dog. So toes together, feet together. Okay. So from here, all I'm doing is I'm in my down dog. Tailbone is nice and high. Spine is nice and long. Again, I'm going to work on my obliques. So I'm turning around my feet. Okay, and you feel the stretch coming right up. I'm on my left and right side. So I'm feeling the stretch coming up my left. And then I'm coming back into the centre. And then I'm just twisting the other way. Lovely. Back into centre. Other way. You will thank me for this. And again. Back into centre. Wow. Feeling that this morning. Lovely. So two more. And one more. Superb. Back into that down dog. And then from here. We're going to come down onto all fours. And make your way onto your back. Okay, this is where you're absolutely going to love me and hate me. So, um, you're, you're abs will be in fire after this one. It's just a wee bit um, tougher than um, what we have been doing as well. And I think so. So what we're going to do is we're going to lie on your back. You have your shins up towards the sky. Okay, and then we're going to take your hands behind your head. So from here, your legs are nice and long. Oh, sorry, nice and straight. Okay, so from here, all we're going to do is come up and down. Up and down. Toes point to the sky. Up and down. So we're coming up. You can go as slow or as fast as you wish. Okay, just make sure you exhale and inhale. Keeping that tummy in. And we'll do three sets. The summer season um, is more energetic. It's warmer. And last one. Okay, bring the knees into your chest. Take the arms away nice and low. So yeah, the summer season, um, see the energy for the season is, um, or the element is fire. So you've got a lot more heat in your body. Okay, get back in. Okay. So hands coming behind the head again. Okay. And then coming up. So as I see, you can go as fast or as slow. And you'll feel it right up here. So yeah, the energy of the, the summer is fire. The element is fire, the colour's red. Um, so yeah, it's um, a lot more energetic. You really should be putting some, um, it'd be good if you could put some cardio into it as well, but again, you know, it can be done, but not, I, I, I wouldn't maybe recommend, because I don't know what everybody's working on um, in the house. Last one. Onto the floor, taking the arms back. Superb. So we'll try and get it as energetic as we possibly can, but still within safety reasons. Okay. And then again, last set. Okay, and up we come. Wonderful. Nearly there. Superb. Last one. And bring the knees into your chest. Okay. Nice big long stretch out the body. 
bring the knees in. Okay. So the second part of this one is again hands behind, bringing the knees up. Okay. And all we're going to do here is bring the elbows up towards the knees. You can bring the knees in as well. Keeping the knees together. You can feel that in your tummy. And again, two to go. And ten, okay. Taking those legs out. Superb. And then back in again. Okay. And then come up, taking knees and elbows together. Some of you can answer was doing these yesterday. There's only be five tomorrow, so it's quite funny. I was trying to show off with his grand yesterday. One more. And straight out. And then his mum tried it, and then that was so funny. Yes. And then from here, and we come last round. This one. Okay. Elbows to knees. So we're in week 14 almost, um, so yeah, it's been tough going over the last 14 weeks for most of us, especially not seeing loved ones, and adapting to all the new changes. Okay, nice big long stretch here. Okay, so let's bring the knees in, and let's just do wee window wiper. So take the feet onto the floor, and we just take the legs from side to side. Wonderful. Lovely. Okay. And one more. Okay, so let's come up to a seated position. And this is similar to Navasana, but just the additional version for this one. So again, we're coming in with the shoulders nice and away from your ears, long back. Taking the legs up, okay. So from here, we're just gonna bring your knees in, take them away, in. Now you can hold on to your knees here if you want. It's just the next version or the next level up from what we have been doing. Okay. And yes, you can feel it in your lower abs coming up. And release, okay. So we reset here, and then from here, really known as belly bonfire, okay. and again, wow, as I say, you will find me with the weather now really coming up, well, supposedly into summer, it looks a bit drying up. Wow, and again, because I'm struggling with this one this morning. So I'll take you right up to quarter two um, and then we'll go into relaxation because I know some of the girls um, skive out from work. So just to give you as much, if you just take a couple of minutes out for yourself, girls and guys, um, which would be good. Okay, last one. Okay, so from here, let's come onto your tummy. And then from there, what we're going to do is going to come into a cobra, so your level, whichever one you want to do. So if we come up into cobra, you know, you've got your hands at the side of your, well, your wrists underneath your shoulders, or taking it down to your rib cage, coming up. All we're doing here is stretching out the torso, keeping the shoulders away from your ears. Lovely. Superb. And then from here, into down dog. Great stuff. And then down into all fours. Okay. So we're gonna, if it's half past. So what we'll do is I'm gonna go into shoelace this morning, which is a really good one for opening up um, 
your hips as well. And so come into um, a seated position. So I'll go take my bag to you. Okay. So what I'm going to do is the different versions of this one. So this is the hardest one, but I find it the easiest one to go into. So what I'm going to do is take my left leg over my right. Okay. And then if I've got a block or a cushion, I would use it. Okay. And then I'm going to come back. Just watch me. And I'm going to sit on my block. My feet are away from me. And I'm sitting in my block. Okay. So that's how it should be from the back. Okay. And now a quick round and show you from the front. So I was like so. So I've taken my left leg over. My feet are coming out to the side. I'll take my block and my cushion, I'll put it at the back of my bum and I'm coming down. Okay. So what I've got now is support from my back, but I've also got my knees in line with each other. And then I take my left hand over my top left, my top leg, and I'm going to twist round. And that's a really, really good hip opener. Okay. So your other options for that one are that that's the hardest one, but I find that the easiest one. Um, your other one would be Get on to your left thigh, okay. taking your right knee over, okay, so your foot's just at your knee, but again, your knees are in alignment, and you're just swinging round, or left leg, nice and long, right leg coming over, and just turning around like so. So you've got three options there. Um, personally speaking, I prefer um, that one, but that's just my choice. Okay, so we'll just give it a count of three breaths there. Okay. And then we'll just come back out. And then we do the same on the other side. So whichever version you wanted. So again, I'm taking my right leg over my left. Feet are coming out to the side. I've got a block. I need my cushion at my bottom. I'm using the block support me, okay, knees are in line with each other, I'm taking my right hand over to my left leg and I'm looking over my left shoulder, or I'm coming down on my right thigh, bringing the left leg over, taking my right hand over, and again, they're in line with each other, or right leg right out, taking the left leg over, your other option for that one is Hooking your right, your left leg with your right ankle, or even your elbow. I have done my anatomy, trust me. And then release, okay, and come back out. So we'll come out as a counter pose to that one. It is one is butterfly. It's what it's not. It's wind wipers. So feet at each side of the mat, and we're just going from side to side. That just releases. Next. Okay. So another one for your hips, we'll just get into butterfly. A couple of ways of doing this, but we'll just do it this way today. So just bring your soles of your feet together, taking your hands down onto your thighs, just pushing them away, okay, with your hands. And that helps to open up your hips as well. So let's just have a few breaths here. Different ways of doing this one, but we'll stick with this one today. It can be done seated, it can be done up against the wall, it can be done with bolsters, depending on how you want to present the pose. Okay. And then from here, just bring those hands behind you, taking the legs away. And then from here, back down again, and a nice wee window wipers. Just opens them up, releases them off. Superb. And then up to a nice wee seated position. Okay. So, get into bridge. I'll do this way easier. So, you've got your, on your back, okay, feet on the floor. You're bringing your heels in towards your um, long fingers. Okay. 
you're going to have your feet hip width apart so again bring your feet together heels together taking your feet out and then just straighten your legs okay so feet at 10 to 2 and then straighten them and then from here we're going to put the strength into your feet and you're just going to lift your vertebrae up off the floor one by one coming up onto your shoulders chin's coming into your chest you can feel it in your thighs, you really don't want to. You can feel it in your glutes, but you really don't want to. And um, feel it there if you can release them. And just put the pressure into your feet. If you put it into the balls of your feet, okay, that's even better. Okay. And then let's just come down one vertebrae at a time. Superb. And again, nice big inhale. Lifting that vertebrae up one at a time, then onto the shoulders. Let's lift the arms up towards the sky, fingertips to the sky. Let's take those fingertips onto the floor behind you. So your fingertips are now on the floor with your palms towards the sky. Still pushing into those feet, taking those hip bones up, chin towards the chest. Lovely. Bring those arms back up, fingertips are now towards the sky. Let's come down one vertebrae at a time. Bring the hands down at the same time too. See the edge, both should hit the floor at the same time. Well, not literally hit it, but come down onto the floor. Excellent. Bring the knees into the chest. Okay. So let's go into a nice shoulder stand, okay? So the abbreviated version since we're not in the studio. So from here, we're going to go up onto the shoulders. No, we're not. What we're going to do is we're going to take the hands, we're getting what we're doing there, hands coming underneath. Um, the bottom, just at your sacrum, and then you're just going to lift your legs up towards the sky, toes coming up towards the sky, legs nice and long. Okay. It's a really good calming one because we're now coming into that sequence whereby we're cooling down. So it's good for reducing blood pressure and lowering the heart rate. It's good also for the digestive system. Okay. Wonderful. So you've done a lot of sun salutation today, which is really good. Um, for, for releasing any toxins in the body. Um, it's also good if you're a wee bit constipated to do a sun salutation. And then we release here with them, um, bring your heart rate down, blood pressure down, and your digestive system. Okay. If you've got a block, you can, if you wish, a cushion, put it underneath the sacrum. You'll know when it's in the right place, when it's nice and comfy. It just raises the hips up just that little bit more. Can be done against the wall. If you're against the wall, you can open your legs. And again, it's a really, really comforting um, sequence. Okay. Bring your legs back together. Going back to some salutation, if you wanted to do a few of them every morning, you know, it really does set you up for the day. Okay. And then let's just bring those feet down onto the floor. Okay, wonderful. Taking a block away from you if you've got one there. Let's now come up to a seated position. Okay, so we've done a shoulder stand. Um, so let's go into some spinal twists before we do anything else. So spinal twists, okay, so we're going to take your right leg and take it over your left. Okay, similar to what we've done in shoelace. Okay, and we're just coming round and we're looking over the back shoulder. And then spinal twist. And then come back into centre, taking the right leg, the left leg over the right, and again, just coming round. Superb. And then coming forward. Okay. Janu Shishasana. So we're going to take the left leg to the side, taking the right sole of the foot to the right thigh. We're going to have the right hand on the right thigh, just give that a wee bit of pressure and make sure we're on our sit bones. So I've just taken my knuckles, put them on the floor, lifting my bum up. Okay. I've got my big toe in line with my hip. I'm taking my left arm up and I'm coming forward. Okay, so you've got options here. You can go onto your thigh, you can go onto your shin. If you have a strap, you can even go around the sole of your foot, the arch of your foot, holding with one hand. Okay, and then we're going to take the top arm up we're coming over towards that right to left toe. Okay. So you don't have to have a yoga strap, you can have a scarf, you can have a belt, a dressing gown belt, or even 
a tie and then release taking that right hand behind you let's come up into a gate pose from here and then come back down okay so twisting over and then twist again okay come forward swap legs so right leg is now at an angle left sole of the foot is coming in towards the thigh toes towards the sky big toe in line with the hip I've got my left hand on to my left thigh just for a wee bit of pressure. I'm also making sure my sit bones are in the right place. I'm using my knuckles to lift the bum up off the floor. Again, coming up, coming forward. Thigh, shin are even. Use the strap again. Okay, so from here, lift the top hand up. Pulling on to that. Wonderful. If you're using a strap, let it go. Taking the left hand to the back. Coming up into a bit of gate pose from Jujana Shasana. Stretching out. Coming back down. Left hand. Over to the side. And then the other way. And then from here. A nice big Paschimottanasana. Toes coming towards the sky, up we come, sit bones into the floor, making sure, using the knuckles again, okay, bringing those knees into the thighs, okay. So from here, let's come forward, tip from the hip, keeping the shoulders away from the ears, hands coming to the top of the toes, if you can't manage that, either go on to the shins or go on to the thighs again, use this strap, it's amazing. So we're keeping that back long, head up, shoulders away. Remember, I'm not earrings. Okay, come forward. Nice big inhale. Taking the hands down further to the side of the feet if you're doing it that way. Further down your strap if you're using a strap. Nice big inhale. Coming down even further again. Try and get those forearms onto the mat. Superb. Just release and then from there ladies and gents let's come down onto your back so let's come down slowly onto your back okay nice big full stretch here you should be really stretched out by now because we've done quite a lot this morning okay let's bring those arms down towards the hips touch them and then take them away about six inches with the palms up towards the sky Feet coming out to the side of the mat. Okay, ankles flopping. Wonderful. Chin to chest. Let's just release the head from side to side. Superb. Once you've got your alignment, just stay there. Nice big inhale through the mouth. Sorry, through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through that mouth. And then just slowly return to normal breath. And release. And just stay here, ladies and gents, for as long as you wish. I will do a wee reading from Eileen Caddy. I opened the book, the book today. And what came up was... Oops, it didn't. Every soul has to learn self-discipline, and the earlier it is learnt in life, the easier it is. To begin with, self-discipline can be a real effort because you have to make yourself do things which the lower self kicks against. You have to learn to say no to yourself, but the firmer you are with yourself, the more quickly peace will reign within. It is good every now and again to take yourself in hand and see where you are being weak and self-indulgent. It means that you have to be very honest and not make excuses to yourself. It may even help you to write down the places where you feel you need to change so you have them there before you. Then do something about it. If you feel struggling or overcoming certain weaknesses, 
you know what? Ask for help. Just ask somebody to be your buddy who can assist you. So thank you for coming along today. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed your practice. Don't know about you guys, but I was pretty warm through that. And I'd just like to wish you a fantastic day. Doesn't look that great outside, but it was clearing up early. Um, good health and peace um, for the rest of the day and for the rest of your life. So a nice big inhale if you're finished, we have your relaxation. Namaste guys, but as I say, stay in relaxation for as long as you wish. Thank you so much, ladies and gents. I'm on again tomorrow um, at uh, six o'clock if anybody wants to join me then. Thank you. Thanks, Muriel. Thanks. Thanks, Sharon.